You this time, you Meiji Mutt! Yeah, way to go, Kiwi. <laughs> Jeremy, you mind telling me what you're doing outside at this hour? And that, huh? What's that supposed to be? <laughs> if I'd have had more time, I could have done the eyes better. <laughs> I hope this will teach you a lesson, Jeremy. I don't understand a model student like you. You should be ashamed. Uh, yes, sir. How do you well, tell us? Uh, he gave me detention for the whole week of vacation. Cool. He really let you have it. As punishments go, you're a champion. I'm sure we couldn't have done better than that. Anyway, Santa won't get any vacation this time. Am I dreaming, or does Jeremy look happy to be punished for the vacation? Yeah, it sure is weird. You'd almost think he did what he did because he wanted to be punished. I don't get it. Me neither. And who's this Santa he was talking about? That is about? right. It's even weirder than weird. And I'm gonna find out just what's going on. Huh? What are you gonna do? Don't you have to leave with your dad after school? A little change of schedule. Daddy, can I talk to you for a minute? But, Sissy, dear, I am very busy. It won't take long. Well, you see, there's this girl I know whose grades aren't very good, and the best thing for her would be to study over the vacation. But she's supposed to go to see her grandparents. I see, and who is this? Shh, uh... I'm coming to that. She knows that once she gets to her grandparents' house, she won't feel like studying. So what do you think she should do? She needs your advice as a principal. Well, my advice would be to give up her vacation and stay home and study for her own good. Uh, what's this girl's name? Perhaps I could talk to her. You just I... did, Daddy. It's me. Thank you for the advice. I promise to study hard. Kiss Grandma and Grandpa for me. <laughs> you get to go and see your parents at the other end of the planet. Yumi's off for a vacation in the mountains. And what do I get? A whole week of math <laughs> tutoring. If they think they can make a good student out of you in one week, well, I say good luck to them. It sounds like Mission Impossible, if you ask me. You're sure you can manage on your own without us? No sweat. And if Xana leaves me alone, I'll be able to work on Aelita's materialization. Oh, don't worry. He's not going to be alone. I'm staying at school, too, and I'll look after him. I'll be his guardian angel. Wow, Jeremy, are you lucky. All right, young man. You think this wall's going to clean itself? Huh? Get to work now! <laughs> go on, go on. Laugh while you still can, young lady. Your father told me to monitor your studying, and that's what I intend to do. Okay, now. Get to work and clean that up. Hmm. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, my math tutoring doesn't seem all that bad. Come on, you can do better than that. A little more elbow grease. Keep scrubbing. Go on, you can do it. How's that math problem? Making any progress solving it? I sure hope so. Well, I'm a little bit stuck here. Maybe if I gave Jeremy some help. My father always says that manual labor is good for the brain. 
Oh, I guess all kids aren't lazy after all. Good idea, sissy. Stay there. I'll go and get you a sponge. Oh, what a shame to have to wipe all that off. I guess I'm not the first one to recognize your talent. It's really well done, a work of art. Oh, by the way, did you do it all by yourself? Or did your friend Xana help you a little? Huh? talking to the other kids about Xana. Is she your girlfriend? Maybe I know her. Come on, Jeremy. Tell me. Xana's the name of a rock group. Well, with all the chunk that you listen to, there's no way you could possibly know them. What do you think I am, an idiot or something? Uh, you said it, not me. Here, since you volunteered to help me, it's time I took a break. A little more elbow grease. Go on, keep scrubbing. You can do it. Go on, you can do better than that. You should go to sleep. Are you kidding? I can't. What if Jeremy tries something tonight? Oh, yeah? What? I don't know, but he's up to something. I'm sure of that. And I'm almost sure that this Xana is in on it. Tonight's the night. I'm going to play Super Spy. At last, I'm going to find out the secret of Jeremy and his weird friends. I know I'm on the right track, but I need the computer in the lab to check out the figures. I'm going to head over to the factory. You should go to bed, Jeremy. Xana seems to be stable. I don't feel any pulsations. And you know, it's not the end of the world if I stay virtual one more day. Uh, that's fine for you, but if you don't come soon, I'm going to have to spend my vacation with Sissy and Jim. I'll never survive. Jeremy, thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing for me. That's okay. tell me that you were sleepwalking because I've been working here for 20 years and I've heard that story about Jim something awful has happened have a look in there huh looks like there was a hurricane in there this had better not be your doing but the smoke it's disappeared that's weird not even a trace it's Santa don't even think about leaving this room tomorrow I'm calling your parents you've got some explaining to do I wouldn't want to be in your shoes Alita, come in, please, hurry. We got a big problem. You're not the only one. Xana's woken up, but I don't know which tower he's activated. But the pulsations converge in this direction. than I thought. The spilled bottles contain an extremely poisonous substance. If the data from the computer is right, the gas can even be deadly in cases of extended inhalation. Get up, young man. Time to face the music. Huh? Jeremy! This has got to 
be contagious. What's all this about smoke anyway? Come on, I don't see any. Oh, oh, Toledo! Ah! Bingo. Ailita, I found it. 37 degrees south in the forest area. Okay, I'm on my way, but I'm nowhere near it. And I'm gonna need some help. I know three volunteers who will be happy to cut their vacation short and help. You'll soon learn that mathematics is actually quite easy, young man. All you need is a sense of logic, a little bit of common sense, and of course, if you have good concentration skills, and if you have a guess a whistle, Santa, analysis, Jeremy. analysis, that will help as well. But I assure you, if you apply yourself, it's not at all complicated. Hey, come and have a look at this, Charlie. What is it? Wow, that's incredible. What is that, kid? Uh, it's, a uh, looks like a skeleton. Yeah, that's right, but uh, don't you see anything strange? Your skeleton is moving. Uh, oh, that's Kiwi! Kiwi's my dog. You do know that dogs are only allowed in the luggage compartment. Well, yeah, sure, uh, I don't know what happened. He was supposed to stay here. It was my grandma, but... Mm hmm Hmm? Oh, it's Graham. We were just uh, talking about you. What are you talking about, Odd? It's me, Jeremy. Yes, of course I know it's you, Graham. I'm sorry. I know you told me a hundred times that you don't like me to call you Graham. Yeah, okay. I'm on my way, right. I'll bring back the dog. Bye, Graham. We should have left over two hours ago. You know how much she loves that dress. I don't even know what dress she's talking about. I'm coming! I'll be down in two seconds! Yeah, I doubt that. You're gonna laugh, darling, when I tell... No, I don't really feel like laughing. Have you noticed someone is missing in the back seat? I'm coming into the forest area now. Yumi, Ulrich, and Odd should be there very soon. Be careful, Ailina. There are bound to be monsters around there. I better go back to the school. Jim and Sissy might be in trouble. I've got to warn them. Help! Help us! It's no use. We're finished. No, no, we're not finished. Be brave now. Jeremy can't be far away. He'll help us out of this. Jeremy? Well, that's pretty reassuring. It's nice to know that the closest thing to Bruce Willis is coming to the rescue. Sissy? Jim? Where are you? Ugh. We'll cut across through the boiler room. It's faster. Through the park. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jeremy. Oh. <coughs> Jim and Sissy are still inside. We gotta find them. I'll go. Ulrich, wait. Yumi, the factory. You've 
Gotta go and help Alita. Hang on, Jeremy. Odd, you got here in the nick of time. Where's Ulrich? to try and find out the secret of Jeremy and his friends, because the truth is that I've been wanting to be part of their group for ages, but it seems so hopeless. Do you understand what I mean? Huh? No. All I understand is that there's no ventilation in here. We're gonna run out of oxygen soon. I better stop talking then, right? Okay, I can take a hint. A strange and toxic smoke whose origins are unknown. The elderly and children are advised to remain indoors. Odd. Help me get over to the computer. And get ready to dive in. Stop looking at me. Come on. There's no time to lose. Transfer Yumi. Transfer Odd. Scanner Yumi. Scanner Odd. Virtualization. Monsters? Not yet. Guess you didn't look very hard. Ulrich, do you copy? How's it going? <coughs> Still nothing. I've been through most of the building. <coughs> Ulrich, get out of there. You can't stay in that smoke any longer. It's too dangerous. And they may be outside already. I'll try one last room, then I'll go. <coughs> Jim! Right now. Ulrich, come on. What's going on? Ulrich, answer me. Look, I don't want to rush you, my friends, but it's getting kind of urgent here. What about us? What do you think we're doing, huh? Getting the sun tan? <laughs> You okay, Yumi? No broken bones yet. Take good care of Aelita. There. You see, sissy? I told you he'd come and rescue us. What the? Ulrich! Uh, he came for me! Oh, he came to save me! It's just like I always dreamed. Only way to access the tower is via a tree bridge. But it happens to be behind the monsters, and so you're gonna have to find a way around them. I might have an idea for blocking the monsters. You take care of Aelita. Laser flash!
Well, what do we do now? You take care of the monsters. Let's hope it's not too late. Return to the past now! I don't understand why you insist on getting punished with detention again, Jeremy. Come on, Santa's not gonna reactivate this soon. You could give yourself a short vacation. Not as long as Ailita stays virtual. And this time, to tell you the truth, Considering what we painted, Jim can't be too angry. Come to think of it, I'm gonna stick around. Anything is better than another one of Miss Schmidt's math lessons. Even Jim. <laughs> uh, uh, get back here! 